what we're gonna do is give you guys our little elevator pitch of um how we think our team season's gonna go because just like how we cover our teams each week uh we're gonna cover i mean for football we're gonna cover our teams for basketball as well so if you don't know you should by now but i'm a Mavs fan so um i don't even think i'll need a full thing but basically i think the Mavs are going to return to the playoffs this year i think they're going to sneak in as an eighth seed i think luca makes it as an all-star reserve and yeah i mean literally this season is just building on what um what we're going to do for the future we got good role players we got a bunch of young talent we got a good ass coach and a whole team fucks with each other so we're going to put it all together and it, we're going to be a fun team to watch we got the european un- union over there um yeah next uh should i go next i mean i can yeah i think you uh, should okay well elevator pitch brooklyn nets brooklyn where you at you already know the vibes barclay center uh, 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 we got the new york liberty as well um elevator mm-hmm. pitch it's gonna be uh it's almost like playing with house money at this point uh for the nets as you wait for kd you just want to you just want to see a team that's competitive enough where you can say at the end of the year kd is the missing piece he is literally what's going to take us over the top uh i predict them going about between 46 and 49 wins anywhere between fourth and fifth uh in the east you know best case scenario they are they're a 50 win team and a three seed uh there'll be a second round exit in the playoffs uh just looking to see if kyrie irving can lead a team i think he will uh i think he wants more than anything to make it work in brooklyn uh nets are his favorite were his favorite team growing up he's surrounded by former teammates and close friends um so it's a lot different situation than what it was back in boston looking for jumps for chris lavert uh jared allen joe harris killing it from the three-point line also watch out for torian prince underrated signing or underrated trade this offseason and underrated signing contract extension so yeah should be a fun season in Brooklyn. And now for the other side of New York, I feel a lot of pressure right now because I'm speaking for a lot of Knicks fans. But what I will say that this team lacks in star power definitely makes up for in a in heart. heart and <laughs> participation, <laughs> trophy, Twitter. <laughs> See, I let you have your moment. Now, why can't you let me have mine, Justin? <laughs> nah, but on the, on the real though, don't expect much out of this Knicks team. On the high end, I feel like we might be a 35-win team. On the low end, we might suck. But what I will say is that we're doing it right. We're not, you know, just have just have people on the team that just suck and are like and are old, washed-up veterans. You know, we got young talent on the team between Alonzo Trier. We just re- we just signed Julius Randle, um, drafted R.J. Barrett. I think we have good pieces, like not pieces in terms to win. You got like, good vets. I, like, but yeah, like I think we have the right the right talent on the team to at least win some games and be competitive. You know, that's all fans want to see. You know, we want to see the team win, but we just know we're not going anywhere. If you're a realistic fan, you know, a lot of Knicks fans feel like we like this is gonna be a playoff team. I I disagree. I think on the maximum we're gonna win 35 games. Um, but I think it'll be definitely a much more watchable season than it was last year. I think we're gonna be better, and I think we might surprise surprise people a little bit, you know. Um, I think Davis Fiz- David Fisdale is a good coach. He loves his players, and I think in the situation that they're in, you know, they might succeed a little bit. But I guess only time will tell. Knicks is like a box of chocolates, man. You some you really never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> Crazy. Um, yeah. So that was our little uh little intro and just how we feel that the season's gonna go. Um, again, if you guys have not checked out our uh, NBA special, our Taco Tuesday special, uh, go check that out. You know, we posted it earlier this week. There, you're going to get a nice big chunk of NBA talk, answering a bunch of questions, previewing some stuff, making some picks. Um, so check that out. And then, you know, starting next week, we're definitely, you know, as baseball is coming to an end and none of us really feel like watching the World Series, but we'll probably <laughs> do it anyway. Um, I guess go nationals. Um, thanks, but yeah, you know, basketball talks coming, winter's coming. Can't wait. That it is, that it is. And, um, yeah, with that, we're done with sports. Yeah.